Welcome everyone. Adam the Wu here as the recording of this Saturday, May 7th, 2022. I am about to take my rental car that I have had for the last series of days, take it back to the Seattle airport, then take the shuttle over to the airport proper, get on a plane and fly from here, Seattle International, down to Oakland, where I will be getting my own personal vehicle that I drove cross country. And from there, heading to the next destination. I'm inviting you to join me. It's not raining in Seattle. It's a, it, it's a miracle. Join me. At the moment, it's not. Shall you? And of course, before you return a rental car, it is frowned upon not to fill the tank up. They charge you a little bit extra. So I always try to fill it up. This gas station, $5.09 a gallon. I think they charge you a little bit more if you don't fill it up. There it is, rental car return. Clearance of eight feet, nine inches. I think I'm good. Of course, I have to take a bus over to the gate. I'm flying Alaska again back. Round trip flew up from Oakland to here and then back on Alaskan Air. My first time ever flying Alaska Air. Well, this will be my second because it's the second leg of the round trip back to Oakland. And I have no idea what my seat assignment is. I usually, also escalator, I always try to get a window seat, but this time it just it's just gonna be randomly picked. So I might not get a window seat. It's gonna be a two hour flight, a little less than a two hour flight. Take a look at these little swirly decorative items over here. Now I'm looking for the north bus, not the south bus. The south bus is heading by right now. This line is for the north bus. That's where I need to go. You stare at this too long. Ooh, the wind is very gusty. If you stare at this too long, you might get hypnotized. Any of these. You're being pulled into a trance. Waiting for the bus. I got plenty of time before my flight boards, I'll be good. Pulling into the station. Northbound. North. to the Alaska representative, they said that I had to check on where my seat will be at the, the gate itself, the gate agent. But this is a kind of a general overview of the land here, this directory, and you can see just how many departures and arrivals are heading in. I am at gate CT10E, which is the very tip top, the one right there, flight 2043. It's on time, and to be honest, the checkpoint line doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna say probably maybe five, 10 minute wait, tops, not bad. Oh wow, there is a Sub Pop store. The record label Sub Pop has a store inside the airport. I suppose it's not completely random because it is based in Seattle, but I didn't, wasn't expecting really to see it inside an airport, inside, you know, to, on the way to the Seagates. There is a Sub Pop music store in here that has little artifacts and also, you know, merchandise t-shirts and whatnot, vinyl, all kind of, it's like a, it's a full-on store. Oh, I wonder if in just like, it's a mad, 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 mad world, if anything's hidden underneath this big W. And there is Seattle chocolate over there, Seattle made, and this is called the Cloud Walk. You can walk across the Cloud Walk, whatever that is. And I can get a little bit closer up to this. That's me right there, top of the list. To Oakland on Alaska Air. On time. Yeah, there are a few out there, a few Alaska Airline planes out there. 
on the tarmac. And over here at the gate, I need to be out. You see it's pretty windy there. Look at the wind just kind of whipping through the, the torn little covering there. Oh, there goes one taking off. Look at that. Ooh, just caught it. There's another one right here. I don't think any of these are my plane. Mine should be pulling in soon. And here's another airline going by. That's a really large plane. And then over there are a couple of more pulling into the station. And before, it's time for me to get in. I think about an hour till boarding. I'm just kind of wandering around all the different gates, looking at all the different planes. And I'm just always fascinated by this. I just, I just I like to walk around before because I'm going to be sitting for a while. So I just like to walk around. And I was also given a seat assignment, 21A, which I believe might be a window seat. Over here at the top of this little staircase, it's a very interesting, some artwork kind of adorning the side. There's some clouds up top there, some trees down there. And just like the Disney parks, they have they have fuel rod stations here as well. Yeah, they have fuel rods in the airport. And I have not had a coffee yet today, so kind of a win in Rome moment. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a Starbucks. It was, it was it was started here in Seattle, so it makes sense at the airport. Went with the largest hot vanilla latte. Vanilla, yeah, the vanilla, put a little vanilla flavor in there. Sometimes I get regular coffee, and other times I get the I get the latte. Yeah, still very windy out there. Should be some interesting turbulence upon takeoff. I have been volunteered to have to put my bag, not carry on. So they're gonna check my bag. Of course, I gotta take it down this ramp. And then I guess I have to take my laptop out of the bag because there's a lithium battery inside my laptop. I have to take my laptop out of here and put it in my backpack once I get down to the plane. Very rarely will I ever check luggage, but it's a small plane, so I didn't have a choice. They made me do it. Ooh, it is windy. This is exciting. Oh yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Where do I pick it up afterwards? Uh, baggage claim. A baggage claim. Okay, thank you. Ah, they wouldn't let me sneak by with it. Look at this. Am I the last one on this thing? I was Group E, seat 21A. In the back, you got two of the last kids trying to slide it on and please pay attention to their important safety briefing. We're glad you joined us once again. Welcome I'm in the board. very last seat so on the plane. Um, oh, three, seven, seven, seven. Away from the seat frame, put your arms to the straps on the other side of the cushion. Rest your upper body on the cushion. The visors are unplugged from seat power if you're in first class. All bags, larger items, including laptops. Anything with a keyboard needs to be completely underneath the seat in front of you. Smaller devices should be in airplane mode and outdoor secured at this time. We do hope you enjoy our one hour and 35 minute flight to Oakland. Oh my 
out shortly with their beverage service, featuring a selection of non-alcoholic beverages, as well as cocktails, craft beers, and wines for purchase in main cabin. Coca-Cola. It's a 12 ounce. I think on the flight up, it was only like a 9 ounce Coke. This is a 12 ouncer. And they didn't run out of ice this time. And also some little pretzels. Got some snow peaks down there. Snow peaked mountains. And put away laptops or larger items that you might have taken out of overhead bin storage. Yeah. And if you have any more trains that you want to finish up, this is a good time to finish up. When we come down for our last walk, we're going to have to collect all service items regardless of the content. Plug all the files from Seek Power. Make sure bags, larger items, laptops should be completely underneath the seat in front of you or overhead. Smaller devices must be held or secured at this time. We'll be coming by the cabin one more time collecting all service items or anything else you would like us to take. Fasten your seatbelt, remain seated for the rest of the flight. On behalf of this Horizon crew, once again, we'd like to thank you so much for flying with us today. Right, going right over the water and then the runways are right next to the water. or wherever your travel plans may take you. All right, off to baggage claim. Right there, I am now in Oakland. The bags are all being kind of spit out over there getting kind of launched out under this little railing. It says do not sit or climb on the bag carousel. Look at it, they're just getting like, <laughs> just getting like ricocheted off. This is a new experience room. I can't even tell you the last time I had non-carry-on luggage. I didn't want to have it checked, but they made me because the plane was small. might be me. That's me. Oh, look at that monorail going by over there. Got the transportation train. This is where I parked. Feels good out here. And with any luck, my car will be perfectly fine. Well, was perfectly fine over here. I'm down here kind of at the end of the, this far lot. It's like deja vu. I feel like I was just here a few days ago. I was. Everything was good. Big the foot here waiting for me. Probably miss me. He'll never say he missed me because he doesn't talk. But.
Did you miss me, Big the Foot? Did you miss me? I think that's a yes. Now I'm curious to see how much it's gonna cost me to keep my car parked here these last few days. It's looking like $77. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. I was expecting between 70 and 100. And I filled up the rental car a little bit ago, but now I'm filling up my own vehicle at this particular gas station, $6.29 a gallon in Northern California, $6.29. Got some windmills up on the hill there. The sign says gusty wind warning. Oh yeah, the five. It's been a while. Right here off the five freeway is Anderson's Pea Soup Restaurant. I'm gonna get myself some pea soup. Now I will not be dining in to Anderson's Pea Soup restaurant, but I'll be getting a few cans to take as a souvenir. Might even get more than a few cans. So I have my car with me, so wherever I end up going, or if I end up getting back to Florida, I'd like to have some some of the cans from here. I'm not gonna dine in, I'm just stopping in the gift shop. I, I really like the pea soup. It's interesting, as much wind as there is out here, it's very, very windy. That bird just went by very quickly. This windmill's not moving. Now I did eat here back in August of last year when I was heading back from San Francisco back to my place in Anaheim. That's when I still lived in California. I didn't leave California to be full-time, you know, quote unquote, even though I travel all the time. I had the place in Celebration and I had the place in Anaheim for about a year or so before I just gave up the Anaheim spot. But I did eat inside here and I got a couple to-go cans from the gift shop and I really liked it. And I wish I had bought more. Now I'm back, stopping back through, so I'm gonna buy more. Got the case, 12 of them. $4 each or $32 for the whole case. Kind of surprised that windmill's not turning, but it's not. There's a bunch of sheep out there. Hello, sheep. Dozens of sheep right here off the five. Hello, sheep. Hello there, sheep. Doing a little grazing out there? Doing some grazing? You doing a little grazing? Going southbound towards LA. San Francisco area on the five. It's a pretty boring drive. Not really a whole heck of a lot to see. Gonna veer off the freeway for just a couple miles. Take a look at that sunset over there. Yeah, that sun is setting very beautifully over across the horizon. Across the way here is a marker. This is out here. Okay, those holes down there, would that be a, are those snake holes? Huh, I don't know if, I don't know if they, okay. 14 miles that direction, which is interesting that they place the marker here. Nonetheless, the headquarters of the notorious bandit, Jacqueline Muretta. Now sometimes when you think of California, think of Los Angeles, you think of San Francisco, you think of the hustle and bustle of cities, but most of California, 
is like this. Just like this. Some oil rigs out there working as well. Well, at least one of them is working. Oh, that one's working too. That one's working. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Found a hotel off the side of the 5 freeway. A glorious hue in the air over there on the mountainside. It's been a long travel day. I'll see you in the next video of the vlog. Thanks for watching. vlog is over.